Foodies of the Berg by Innovative Managers. Foodies of the Berg, General Concepts. General Concept and Engine Number no. 9 is a sports bar establishment in downtown St. Petersburg, owned by Jason Phil and Tony Esposito, NHL Hockey Hall of Famers and owners of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Jason Esposito, a certified executive chef, strives to produce an excellent product and usage of a daily motto of prime burgers is what you get. The engine hosts 65 beers on tap with a variety of wine selections. In addition, there's televisions at every table, and according to Esposito's, it's a premier sports bar in the area to watching hockey. Phil, the primary owner and stakeholder of Engine Number no. 9, has concerns over social responsibility with the company. Being that Jason, who's inexperienced as a business manager and part owner, lacks fortitude and an understanding of the business retrospective. In the following episodes, we'll cover starting a business, managing diversity, and business ethics in the workplace. Character profile number one, Phil Esposito, CEO owner of Engine Number no. 9. His characteristics include in control, effective communication skills, transparent values to all employees, good leadership skills, has industry knowledge, efficient and effective, respects employees, natural gift for motivating people. Jason Esposito is the manager of Engine Number no. 9. His characteristics include task-oriented qualities, runs everyday operations, paperwork, analytical, and micromanagement, empathetic, compassionate, sensitive, team builder, a goal setting, goal setter, and leadership by, exa by example. Tony Esposito, the bartender. His characteristics include being cocky, arrogant, egotistical, and a and good uh, is very good at bartending. He attempts to show alpha dominance by any means necessary among his friends who show up at the sports bar. He rejects any mistakes made by creating excuses. So, I really want you to be our front greeter when customers enter the bar. Sounds good to you? Yes, I would love that. When do I start? Next Monday, actually. We'll be open for business. You. Money. Sounds good to me. Bye. Tony, please bring your hard head self in here. Yeah, yeah, cousin. So Uncle Phil wants you to be a part of the family business. Just please, try not to do anything crazy. Whatever, I gotcha. We're about to be rich. All this wine, I'm about to be drunk. Yes, I'm in heaven. Oh my God, you're drunk. Let me take you home. You better be glad your family told me. Because if you wasn't, You'll be fired. Let's go before Uncle Phil finds out. Shaking my head at you. I'll do better, cousin. Watch and see. Let's go.
drinks everybody. Let's get drunk. I can't feel my leg. Life is good. Yes, baby. He can now on Tony. You know how he can get. Of course, Tony. Please bring your hard head self in here. Yeah, yeah, cousin. So Uncle Phil wants you to be a part of the family business. Just please, try not to do anything crazy. Whatever, I gotcha. We're about to be rich. All this wine. I'm about to be drunk. Yes, I'm in heaven. Oh my god. You're drunk. Let me take you home. You better be glad you're family, Tony. Because if you wasn't, you'll be fired. Let's go before Uncle Phil finds out. Shaking my head at you. I'll do better, cousin. Watch and see. Let's go. Free drinks, everybody. Let's get drunk. I can't feel my leg. Life is good. Yes, baby. He can now on Tony. You know how he can get. Of course. So I noticed that you wanted to start promoting the business on social media, correct? Yes. I think Facebook would be awesome. Also our own website. You know, bring in more traffic. Sounds great to me. Let me go check on the bar. Getting loud out there, okay. Tony, why are all these people drunk and why are you giving out free drinks? I'm just having some fun. Hurry up and get this place and these people clean up. Now. Tony, you have got to do better. You know football season is coming up and we're also getting a new menu so try to act professional for one. Good morning, let's get this meeting started. Hi Jason. I'd like to talk to you about prep work for the next football events. I notice a lot of tension and stress with you lately. What the hell, Tony? I made plans for the events already. You should go back to the fundamentals. You have no concepts of running this business. It's on the negative. Jason, you forget I am appointed manager. What gives you the right to manage this company? Forget it, Jason. I quit. You're a spoiled brat. That was uncalled for Jason and very unprofessional. Amy, he has been a Debbie Downer. I've been running the bar and working hard since I've stepped foot in here. Jason, I just spoke to Tony. What happened between you two? Regardless, you're too emotional and stressed out. You should have standards and control in resolving situations. Please back off of Tony. He's a smart individual and your response and meaner is unethical. We need to work as a team in order to meet expectations as a company whole. Tony, I apologize for my behavior. It was unethical and disobedient. You're a major asset to the company and we're family. Let's get this engine started. Welcome back, Tony. Nothing like an Esposito feud. Perhaps you two should settle in on the ice. Haha. -ha. He needs a lesson in obedience. However, I accept his apology and look forward to the engine's success. Jason, I'm glad to see that Tony and you are getting along better these days. Of course, Uncle Phil. We're family. 
I just want Tony to become more serious about the family business. But anyway, I had some idea for the upcoming holidays. Sounds good to me. Really? What did you have in mind? Change would be great around here now that winter season is approaching. Well, I was thinking that we could do a happy hour every Wednesday from 12 to 1. Also, maybe stay open later on Friday nights. I want to have a meeting with all the employees about the upcoming season, Jason. Phil Jr. will help you out with anything you need for the sports bar. Sounds great, Uncle Phil. Creating a happy hour is make our business grow even faster. I can feel it. Yep. Change is always good, Kazo. should start throwing events to make the place pumped up. That is smart. We could do like burger deals during the week and drink specials maybe two days out of the week. We will attract more customers and have a staff ready for fun. Yes, we could have live music to pump up the place. Let's get to it. Wow. We have a full house on our $5 burger and fries deal tonight. Yes, outstanding for profits. Let's check on the employees. Hey Phil, I've been thinking about expanding our business. You have. What is on your mind? What are you thinking about? I crunched the numbers, and I believe that we should start a franchise. Or at least open up a new location. You have. What does the numbers say? I do not want to expand, if we only can manage this new location. I want it to be very successful, and put money into it. The numbers are really good Phil. We would be able to invest a lot into it and start it off right. The location I was thinking about is a good spot. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I think we should bring this up to our accountants to hear their inputs. Phil and I have been thinking about expanding the business. We have a good location and feel like it's a good idea. I overlooked the books and accounting statements. I can see this business expanding. What location did you have in mind? It will be located at the Grand Central District of St. Petersburg. It is a very nice and upcoming area. There are many earth stores, so it attracts new potential customers. What would this new location be called? Do you have a name? It will be called Engine Rose. I want to see this new location. 